show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the one and only... No. <clears throat> um, the one and only... No, it won't. Now shut up. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have here a Slate Warbringer in, of all places, uh, Kunlai. And I'm going to solo it. That's right. I'm a level 90 mage. I have a little help. I have a level 69 mage. But he's, he's not going to do anything. All he's going to do is be sitting in a village. Uh, so I can see him on my map, on my mini-map, so I know which direction to run. It looks like I'm going to be uh, aggroing a porcupine, so let's take care of that first. Alrighty, so here we go. We are now going to pull. All right, now I'm going to start the show. Counting in five, four, three. You won't hear anything anymore. One. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to be attacking the Warbringer. It's a Slate Warbringer. It's special. What you have to do is you have to make sure you have the overgrown lily pad, as you can see in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. I'm going to activate that. That gives me my little healing buff whenever I need it. You also need to have Master heal, master Healing Potion. Um, vent Chatter doesn't help because they don't hear you. I do, which makes me laugh, and then I, you know, I can't say my lines. <laughs> Muting Chatter. <laughs> All right, now I've muted him. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now going to be killing a slate warbringer. Quick reminder, you must have an overgrown lily pad. You must have a water elemental. You must have the ability to pop your mirror mages, and the cooldown must not be active. It does not matter whether you have your gem, mana gem or not, but you also must evocate and, at the end of your evocation, hit your ice barrier. Pull the, war, pull the Warbringer and run. And that's it. Just run. Because you're going to be dotting him up as you go along. He's dotted up. And I know he's going to do just fine. Here we go. We're going to be running towards Mini Angelo, my partner in crime. A level 69 mage. His only job is to basically be a point on the map for me to aim for, which I am doing such a good job. Whenever I aggro things like porcupines and so forth, I want to make sure that, boom, boom, <clears throat> I want to make sure that, oh, now fear has to be dispelled and then blinked out of the way so he keeps coming. Keep attacking him, dot him up, run some more, and as he gets close enough, blink. Boom. Keep attacking him, dot him up, freeze the little uh, beetles as they come. Thunder Crush always is helpful because if he's dumb enough to do that, he's not going to catch me. Now, if he does get too close, you can always mirror mage. Now, I always pop the mages right before the city in case he does just what he did here, which is fear me, but now the guards have him. And it's just a matter of waiting for the fear to go away and then running around in circles. as he pulls more and more aggro from the other guys. They've got him now. I just need to run from him. Time to pop all cooldowns. Uh, 
feared me one more time. Time to run. Shit, don't die. That's where your other cooldown comes in real handy. He's dead. Now it's time to go invisible. Because a bunch of mobs are coming after me. Nope. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. We got it. He's dead. He's dead. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. We have killed the Warbringer. There is his corpse. Zooming in. And there you can see a mage has soloed the Warbringer. Okay, a little help with some villagers and NPCs, but who the hell cares? <laughs> Unmuting Mochetta, who can say anything he wants now because we're no longer recording. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yep. 